Hey guys, Bird Fans here. Right. In last, well, I don't know, a few months ago, maybe even longer than that actually, I shown you my foot care kit I keep with my socks. I do, as I said to you in that video, I do have an actual larger one. I will leave a link to that video in one of the corners. I try to. And, um, yeah. And I do have a larger kit. And, um, I've recently transferred it into a different pouch and this is the kit it's not as big as it looks it's tiny it really is absolutely tiny it's not what i would call massive but then again most people think a lot of things are massive nowadays but it's not all it is is a combat tactical pocket organizer or whatever you want to call them ones so yeah but before i go into this one i do have some other some more I should say not other some more inner stalls inside of my rucksack as well at the bottom very bottom of the rucksack i do keep some, uh, some more inner stalls as well as some more shoelaces because in my opinion your foot care your foot like your boots and everything like that, or your shoes, or whatever you're going to use, technically still should be classed part as your foot care kit, in my opinion. So I do carry, I do have a set of these in my boots ready to go, and I have two sets here, and I do carry another set in here, what you will see. But that's something I do recommend everybody to look into. Get multiple pairs of insoles. They're not that big. They're not that fat. They're not take up that much weight. So why not? And at the end of the day, they will make your feet feel a little bit more comfortable and make your feet work better for you. Right. Let's move on from that one. Right. This is, as I said, my main foot care kit. It's not finished. Never will be finished. Why? Because I do like to evolve and update change things in my kit i've recently added it to this pouch before it was in just a normal sleeper does it and you'll just pull everything out like that i didn't like it. i liked it but i had some i had a couple of these spares so i thought i'd use one so yeah right let's go into it shall we quickly now right let's take this one out thing first that there is moleskin it is the thin, like an inch wide moleskin. It is good stuff. I do recommend it. I don't have any of the larger stuff in this kit yet because I haven't been able to get some because I've not been able to get out and get it. But when I do, I will get some. So as well, I do carry, I do have a set of medical scissors in here. Why? Because if I want to cut less, I can. All might be ready to go. So, <laughs> and I'm not looking around or I'm not using my knife. Got it. I don't believe in things like that. A nice big bottle, 100 gram, sport 100, yeah, 100 gram bottle of foot powder. And put this foot powder in this bottle myself. It is one of the lockable bottles. This bottle has, you have to snap that lock to open this bottle and I find these bottles are quite good because they're water resistant so they keep most of the water out so yeah I do keep a small handy heroes towel in here it's the same as the bandanas they're basically there to dry your feet from sweat moisture water basically anything you need anything what anything your feet needs drying with I recommend it. I recommend carrying one. Yeah, these are tiny, they're not that big, they're not that heavy. And as I said, I do have multiple of these in my rucksack. And the same again, there is the inner soles. As I said, I do carry multiple of these as well. They're light, they don't weigh hardly any, they don't they weigh something, I think and they probably weigh hang on. Entire because it normally tells you on the packaging, but today it doesn't. 
that's not a problem anyway. I probably work on maybe 15, 20 bucks. So, oh, excuse me. So, why not? As well, I do carry a set of boot laces in here. These are nothing to do with my feet. I know I understand that. But I like to make sure where I know where a couple sets of things are. So my blue laces are in here as well as in that. As well as in with the other lot of inner soles I've got. So yeah. So and the last thing, and that is fifty of these um blister plasters. Why fifty? Because at the end of the day it was I bought them online and it was cheaper to buy fifty than buying the same ten. That's the reason why I only got. That's the reason why I got fifty. Yeah, I've been trying to work on other things to put in this kit, and there's only one thing I want extra. I want to add on to this, and that is potassium permanganate and some glycerin. Those two are fantastic for your feet. Like if you have, like, say, blisters, or if you start to have, like, your feet starting to peel because you're starting to get the beginnings of trench foot or something like that. You make a um, solution up with the potassium permanganate. You stick your feet in it for five, ten minutes. Yes, it's going to die your feet. Don't get me wrong. I've had it happen before, but it kills all the bacteria in your in it. And then you use your cloth or your towel to dry your feet. And then you put some of your foot powder on. Trust me, your feet's going to feel so much better on that as well. As well as I want to add, as I said, some more moleskin, some of the bigger stuff. But it's not an essential at the moment because I've got all those plasters. So, yeah, all right, um, I'll leave it here, guys. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you think it's ridiculously stupid because I'm all up for ideas. Um, as I said, there is a couple of things I want to add to it. And when I do add to it, do it. I'll, later on, I won't do it sort of like three, four weeks down the line, say, for example, I'll do it, say, sometime next year. Or I'll say, I'll just do it. Or I might just do like an add on type situation sections on certain videos. So, yeah. So, Thank you for every single person who's still with us. Thank you for every single person who's still watching this video for this moment in time. That was just over seven minutes, or just coming up to seven and a half minutes, I should say. And um, we highly appreciate every single single one of you. And um, thank you very much. And we'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye bye.